After making my iPad mini video, I got a lot of comments asking to go over the contents of my phone and just my entire phone setup. I did make a video before called how I keep my phone minimal. However, I feel like enough has changed to warrant another video and this is still a little bit different than that, including the phone itself being a different phone from that video. So today I'm gonna go over my entire iPhone setup with iOS 16 and uses for my device and its apps. Things like calling, texting, and maps are pretty standard uses for all of us, so I won't cover things like that. And even if you're an Android user, some of these uses and apps may still be useful for you, or at least I hope they will. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you, and you end up liking the video, be sure to like, and please 360 no scope the subscribe button. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by talking about the hardware itself, and then go into the actual setup and the reasons why I have it set up the way that I do. So let's start with the phone. Starting with the phone itself, this is my iPhone 13, 128 gigs, green. I never really found myself going with the pro or premium models of iPhones, mainly because I never really use the cameras on my phones or take a lot of pictures with them. And the standard iPhone models with the price just work better for me. And I went with 128 gigs because I really don't keep a whole lot on here either. I chose green because plants. I currently have the Saddle Brown MagSafe leather iPhone case on this. I'm not a huge fan of the color, but I have seen how it looks after it patinas a little bit, and I'm a huge fan of that aesthetic. I also have a MagSafe wallet on the back of my phone. It's really small and only holds a few cards at the most, so I keep my license, a credit card, and my debit card in here. Most places I go to support Apple Pay, so I just utilize that when it's an option. The wallet itself has the Find My feature enabled, so God forbid I lost it, I can use Find My to locate it. I do have a standard Ridge wallet that I use if I'm traveling or if I need to carry all my cards or some cash, but I'll save the showing of that for another video. Lock screen. Moving into the actual contents of the phone itself, we'll start with the lock screen. Right now, I just have the day and date at the top of the lock screen, and for the time itself, I use this sort of rounded off font that's pre-installed. When I first updated to iOS 16, I was using the dynamic weather wallpaper, which I enjoyed for a time. But then I got the idea to create sort of my own dynamic wallpaper, so I gave it a shot. Using Procreate, I took this light bulb design that a good friend of mine drew for me and put it on a plain gray wallpaper to use for the lock screen. Procreate supports 4K files, so in the end, this came out really sharp. The home screen. Right when I unlock my phone from the lock screen to the home screen, you see this light bulb gets these sort of little luminescent lines coming from it. All I did was copy the lock screen wallpaper, bring it into Procreate and draw these little lines above the light bulb and set that as my home screen wallpaper. And doing this created sort of this little animated effect when unlocking my phone. And if we move further down to the bottom of the home screen, We'll see in my typical fashion, I just have the call and text icons visible. I gave it a little bit more personality this time by just adding a little visual call and text right above the icons. And I also did this in Procreate just using the font that I typically use in my videos. And since my home screen is clear of any apps, if I do wanna use an app, I just swipe down and search for it or just swipe to the right and find it in my app library apps and content. As far as my apps go, you'll see that there's quite a bit less on here than there were on my iPad in that video. I try to use my phone as more of a tool exclusively and my iPad as a tool as well as pretty much all of my content consumption. And instead of just listing off every app that I have and use, I'll just sort of categorize them in a way that I feel makes the most sense. Finance. These are the apps that I have that pretty much have anything relevant to do with my money, like paying a bill or just a bank account. I currently have the Chase app for banking, Coinbase and Coinbase wallet for my crypto, 
AT&T to pay my bill right from my phone, and the Apple Wallet app, of course. My Apple Wallet has all of my cards, as well as my Apple Cash card. The cash back that I earn typically goes just right into my savings, or I reinvest it somewhere. I plan on making an updated finance video in the future, talking about ways I earn and use cash back. Most useful apps. These next three apps are just gonna be the ones that get used the most or are just my personal favorites. And the first one is Notes. Yes, the simple Notes app that comes with all Apple devices. I use Notes for writing 100% of my videos, planning shots, or just making to-do lists. If I'm writing something in Notes on my iPad, but get an idea later in the day, I can add it in Notes on my phone and just have it sync via iCloud seamlessly. There are a ton of apps out there for note-taking, planning, and writing, but I find that the beauty of Notes is that it doesn't overcomplicate something that doesn't need to be complicated. Spotify. A music streaming app is pretty much a necessity with all my devices. Spotify is used when I'm walking around the park, driving, and of course, skating. Ember app. My Ember app is used to remotely control my Ember mug. I've mentioned so many times how great I think this piece of technology is, so I won't dive too much into it. Basically, this mug is self-heating and it keeps me from having to chug or waste coffee that got too cold before I had the chance to finish it. Miscellaneous apps. Lastly, I'm gonna just categorize everything else as miscellaneous. These are the apps that don't really fall under a particular category, but all need to be kept in my phone for one reason or another. And this will include all the pre-installed iPhone apps that can't be deleted. Schedule app. I just have this for my work schedule. DJI. This is the DJI app for my drone. It's needed to fly my drone as well as be used for the viewfinder when I'm piloting. The measuring app. This is Apple's first party measuring app. And I actually find the level tool very useful when I'm shooting B-roll. Find my app. The Find My app tracks the location of my devices, including my keys or wallet. If I ever lost those, I can use this app to find them pretty easily. Geico app. I just keep this app on my phone because it keeps my insurance cards digitally stored here. God forbid I ever have to use them. I have some other pre-installed apps here like calendars, which honestly can warrant an entire video on its own. So I won't cover that because it's also pretty standard among all devices. And that pretty much covers everything I have going on with my current phone setup. Like I said, I got a lot of requests for this, so I thought I would try it out. Hopefully you got something out of this and maybe you'll give a custom dynamic wallpaper a try. As always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you do like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.